In this video, um, suppose that the population P of a flock of birds, of a flock of birds, is growing exponentially, so that dP over dx is equal to 20 e to the 0 0.05 x, where x is measured in times of years. So we're saying that the derivative P prime is equal to an exponential function here. So before anyone panics here, right, we're not saying that the, the, the population of the birds is growing exponentially. We're saying the rate at which the population of the birds is growing is growing exponentially. The derivative is growing exponentially. Yowzers. What does that tell us for the function? It turns out it's not going to be much more complicated. Uh, but we want to find p in terms of x. So we want to write p as a function of x when there, if we know there were 20 birds at the beginning of our observations here. So we have an initial value problem placed in front of us, a differential equation. We know a relationship on how the function, how the population is growing over time. We have an initial observation and we want to find an equation to model the population um, at, a, at any given time, right? So we know that P prime is equal to 20, excuse me, 20 E to the 0 0.05 X. Now, since we know the derivative is a function of X, we can actually take the antiderivative here, take the, take the integral of dp, take the integral of 20e to the 0.05x dx. Uh, the left-hand side is just going to be p. The right-hand side, we're going to get 20 over 0.05e to the 0.05x plus a constant, uh, like so. And here, 20 divided by 0 0.05, be aware that 0 0.05 is actually 1 20th if you divide by 1 20th, you times it by 20. We're going to get that the population equals 400, 20 times 20, e to the 0 0.05 x plus a constant here. This gives us the general solution, the general solution to this differential equation. We want to find a particular solution, and we do that with the initial value given. So when they say there are 20 birds initially, what they're saying is that p of 0 initially means at the start x equals 0. Initially, there were 20 birds, so p of 0 equals 20. So if we make those substitutions in, uh, let's see, p is 20, and you get 400 e to the 0 0.05 times 0. It's always nice when the initial value is 0. It doesn't have to be, but arithmetic with 0 is generally pretty nice. Uh, because what we see here is you're going to get e to the 0 power which of course is one, 400 times one is 400. We have 400 plus C. So if you subtract 400 from both sides, you're gonna get that C equals uh, negative 380. And we'll see in, in the future that this number right here, this negative 380, it's kind of, it's measuring essentially some, some initial conditions about about the population growth. This is actually measuring some type of elbow room, like how much does, how much potential of growth is going on right now, but we'll come back to that some time in the future. Uh, but for now, we can mention that our population of the birds would equal 400 E to the negative 0.05 X minus 380. And so after X many years, you could use this equation to predict how many birds are there gonna be in the population. And so this example, this solving this initial value problem is starting to show you why people are interested in differential equations. Uh, because if we are some biologists who are studying this flock of birds, we are going to be interested in their population size. Can we come up with a mathematical equation that can predict uh, how many birds we'll have on any given year, right? Uh, we can use this to, as we're studying the birds. But how does one actually determine this population? Well, in this situation, we use the growth rate. Like, we know how quickly they're growing. And using that, we are able to construct this differential equation. And so that brings us to the end of lecture 25 here. In the next lecture, we're going to start to see some more advanced techniques of solving differential equations. Particularly, we'll talk about a technique called separation of variables. Um, in which case, it turns out this example and the previous example we've been doing are just a special case of that separation of variables situation.